Viewer discretion is advised. Oh my god, Hollywood's coming up with some crazy shit nowadays. All of these movies look awesome. Let's go theater hopping. We won't be able to do that. Security is tight as hell. We need to pick only one. Smurfs hardcore. I heard it's Smurfin. Awesome. I want to watch Maggie Simpson. We're watching Smurfs hardcore. We're watching Maggie Simpson, and that's funnel. You can't make anything final. I want to watch Smurfs Hardcore. Wanna fight about it, bitch? Bring it, bitch. Girls, knock it off before you get grounded in the sewer. Zara, I'm going to the restroom for a minute. Watch my purse and don't touch a goddamn thing. Alright, alright. I won't. Damn, I wonder what desire could keep in this ugly purse. Oh my god, this looks like one of those zappy love books. I'm gonna read it just to make fun of how lame it is. A few moments later. Well, fuck me. This shit was pretty good. I have to know who wrote it. Oh my god. I can't believe Verica wrote this. I never knew she had that kind of talent. Did somebody say talent? Um, 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 who the fuck are you? Well, I'm part of a talent search program, and we go around looking for young singers, dancers, actors, and authors. Say, can I peek into that book you're reading? Well, uh, sure. Wow. This book is so grim, yet sophisticated. The characters feel unbelievably authentic and the plot is nothing short of phenomenal. Oh my god, what language are you even speaking? Well, I speak English, a tad bit of French. Anyways, I would love to know the author of such a literary masterpiece. My sister. Erica Dawson. She's dumping her kitty water right now. Well, this book is a perfect candidate to base an anime series off of. Say, let me keep the book and meet me tomorrow in New York, at the Plaza Hotel conference room at around 10 a.m. You got it. Okie dokie then. Thanks for the golden opportunity. Alright Zara, I'm back now. And I didn't even look through your purse once. Really? Let me check then. Um. I already checked for you. I'm gonna check it anyway. Zara, what the fuck? Where the hell is my book? I gave it to some talent dude who wanted to make it an anime. He told us to meet him at the conference room at the Plaza Hotel in New York. Wait, are you serious? Of course. Then let's get packing. I still want to watch Smurfs Hardcore, but whatever. Alright, daughters. I hope you all have a great time in New York, but don't mess around and bring back some more bastard children. Whatever, Mom. Bye. Alright, bye kids. Oh Diesel, grab Zara's toothbrush and get ready for me. So, Erica, I didn't know you wrote a book. Mind telling me what it's about? Sure. This girl is tired of being bullied, so she jumps off a bridge, but her spirit seeks vengeance and haunts her bullies. Damn, that sounds like something I would love. Of course Annabelle would like some creepy shit like that. Zara, shut the fuck up. You loved my book too. Whopper, and what the hell are you listening to? Oh my god, what the fuck is this shit? Oh my god, this shit sucks. I'm gonna change the station. Zara, sit your ass down and stop messing with my radio station. I wouldn't have to mess with your radio if your music didn't suck. Bitch, you have the nerve to insult my taste in music with the bullshit you listen to. Hell yeah, your music sucks. I have better taste. Whore. I will Guys, kick your motherfucking the ass. The road. <laughs> Guys, 
God fucking damn it. Do we have to run all the way to New York? Yes, because you and Erica had another bitch fight that messed everything up. Wait a minute, I think I see something. Oh my god, this thing will take us to New York in less than an hour. We have to check to see if anyone's using this plane first. Excuse me, but can you take us to New York? I'm sorry, but I'm conducting a military test right now. We can't take you to New York. I don't give damn about your little test. Now take us to New York. Woman, you know you're dealing with a U.S. soldier? And you're dealing with a girl who'll kill you if you don't take her to New York. Zara, stop arguing with the men and let's get off. Maybe we'll find a train. Don't you want to get to New York fast? If this little man doesn't take us, I'm gonna throw him a- Little girl, I'm in the military. I suggest you stop talking to me like that before I do something drastic. I don't care. I'm stronger than you. Oh yeah, I wanna see you prove it. See you later, mother ficker. I'm going to New York, bitch. <laughs> Alright, so now, what hour are we gonna do? Alright, so first, we're gonna see some tourist attractions, maybe a few parks. We'll eat, and then we'll go back to the hotel and relax. What the hell are we waiting for? Let's go. Oh my gosh, that fish was so delicious. Yeah, I'm stuffed. Say, let's go back to the hotel now. Are you kidding me? I'm going to the club to drink my fucking ass off. Wait a minute, did we even pay the bill? Oh crap, I'm broke. Me too. I got like 10 bucks. I'll just seduce some boys to buy me some drinks at the bar. You know what? Fuck it. Let's ditch this joint. Zara, you can go to the club, but come back to the room before midnight. Okay, I got it. All right, let's go. Damn, this water feels amazing. You said it, Erica. You mind if I turn the heat up? I don't mind. Hey, why did you decide to go skinny dipping? Because I love when the water enters me and consumes my soul. Alrighty then, I'll be quiet and let the water enter your soul. Hey Erica, can you give me my evil pleasures book from the hotel room? Sure. Wait a minute, what the hell is on the TV? A young girl by the name of Zara Dawson has been charged with animal cruelty after attempting to seduce a moose and sit on one of his hooves. Police say that she is currently under the influence of alcohol and MDMA. She is now being taken into police custody with bail set at $200,000. Oh my god, that's terrible. I have to get Zara. In other news, Bill Cosby has just invested in an all-ladies nightclub. Oh my god. That's even worse. Annabelle, get out of the pool. We gotta bail Zara out of jail. No thanks, I could use a few hours without. I don't care about other people. I want things my way all the time. Annabelle, this is our sister we're talking about. Now come on. All right. Mrs. Captain save a hoe. So, how are we gonna get the 200,000 to bail her out? Well, I know a quick way to get some cash. I'm not really comfortable with this. You're the one that wanted to free Zara. Well, that was a lot of dirty work, but it was worth it. Finally. Now let's free Zara so we can catch some sleep. What are you two girls doing here? We're here to bail out our sister Zara Dawson. State your names. I'm Annabelle. I'm Erica. Erica and Annabelle? Wait a minute. Those are the names of the girls that didn't pay at my cousin's restaurant. Uh-oh. Wait. We could pay for it now. We have the money. Can I at least call someone? You should have paid the bill while you were still there. And you have five minutes to make a call to someone. Hello, Dawson residents. Hey, Mom. Look, try not to get mad, but me, Zara and Annabelle are in jail. Why am I not surprised? What are you in jail for? Well, 
We did the bill at some guy's restaurant, and well, Zara got drunk and fucked a moose. Oh, those greedy New York bitches. They have enough money, they don't need yours. And that moose thing is all over the news so Zara will be grounded. Anyways, can you bail us out of here so I can attend my meeting? Look darling, mommy's kind of tired, so let me rest and I'll bail you out in the morning. But mom, the meeting is at 10 in the morning. Look sweetie, I'll wake up early and catch a flight to New York so I can bail you out for your meeting. I just need my rest. Take care and don't be anyone's prison bitch. I love you, daughter. I love you too, mommy. You're not actually tired, are you? Fuck no. You girls better consider yourself lucky. I blew Zara's entire college fund on bailing you out, plus paying that restaurant bill. I never planned on going anywhere. I have other ways of getting you to go. Anyways, let's head out and go to Erica's meeting before it's too late. Crap crap crap, we're stuck in a traffic jam. Crap, we're 15 minutes late. Hi. I am here for the adaptation of my daughter Erica's novel. We've decided against the adaptation of your daughter's novel. Oh come on, why not? Because we refuse to work with a woman who has a criminal record, worked as a stripper, and can't be bothered to show up on time. You know what, fuck you. Give me the book and I'll make a better adaptation than you corporate bastards can put out. Ha ha ha, you're ugly. Wah wah wah, I go jump off a bridge now. I jump off a bridge now, I'm a ghost. You called me ugly when I was alive, now I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god, I'm dead. That sucked, that sucked. That sucked. Well, no dinner for you girls tonight. Wait mom, that was the best thing on TV since Jersey Shore, mom, mommy. written by Fred Amp and John Cannon.